Here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Certainly starting to look a lot more like winter out there with fresh snow on the ground and more in the forecast. Let's go ahead and take a look at the conditions from yesterday with the snow totals. You know, most of the snow fell in about an hour's time. We had a band of very heavy snow uh, that came through, bringing many of our areas to about one to four inches of snowfall, slightly higher than the forecasted amount with a band of uh, two and three inch an hour snowfall totals. Radar over Rhode Island in southeastern Mass, back to dry skies. Sun is shining, a little bit of melting going on right now, but we've got temperatures in the upper 20s to about 30. It's been a very slow climb. Uh, not much in the way of accumulations out over the Cape overnight, and the temperature is slightly warmer with some of the bare ground, Hyannis, Martha's Vineyard, and Nantucket. Wind chills running in the teens. We've got a brisk wind this afternoon, and that is going to continue. So about 28 to 33 for temperatures as the kids get off the bus this afternoon. Along the south coast, for your second half of your day. Uh, Newport at about 34, Hope Valley 33, Coventry at about 32, and I think only making it to right around 30 degrees. Foster Center, Burville and Cumberland, Johnston at about 32 with dry skies, chilly and brisk condi conditions. And uh, 32 for your forecasted high in Taunton, about 33 in Middletown. Dry cold for the evening commute. Overnight tonight, temperatures are expected to fall into the teens, so it is going to be a chilly night. Here's the future cast starting off at 10 o'clock tonight. Still dry skies, and in fact, the only big thing that's going to happen tonight is that the clouds are going to be rolling in. Notice, though, the blue starting to approach. This is very light snow, 6 o'clock in the morning. Doesn't take long for it to overspread our entire area. And I think through the late morning and afternoon. It's snowing at times at a good clip. Watch this leading edge of perhaps a little bit of sleet or maybe even some raindrops trying to mix in. This may be a little bit far north with the edge of the mixing, but at the coastline, maybe a little bit of sleet or rain at, for a time before the storm starts to wind down by 8 o'clock. This is probably just lingering flurries and snow showers. Most of it wraps up by like 5, 6 o'clock in the evening. This is one computer model's take on how much snow we will accumulate between Saturday 6 a.m. through 8 p.m. And it shows us in most areas between, say, 4 and 7 inches of snow. West Warwick at about 7, Providence just under 7. Notice these little blips of pink, though. Some isolated higher amounts possible. We'll notice the lesser amounts down at the coastline. And so my forecast thinking is in line with that particular computer model with four to seven of inches of snow in most areas. I had three to six this morning, so I just upped it a little bit. And at the coastline, about two to five inches, that's giving us that little bit of mixing and slightly lesser amounts there at the shore. The Patriots game. For Sunday afternoon, the snow's out of here, but the lingering effects in the parking lot are expected. So we've got ice and snow in the parking lot. Temperatures around 32 at game time. Humidity at 60%, and it's going to be an east wind at Gillette on Sunday afternoon at about 8 miles an hour. Seven-day future cast. If you can believe it, we go from a decent snowfall, moderate snow on Saturday, to a soaking rain in 54 degrees on Monday. Don't forget to take the live pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast, all your breaking news and video with you. Go to WPRI.com, download our new app for the iPhone or Android smartphone.